I'm sorry to hear about your parents, Claire. I know how much you cared about them. It happened so quickly. One morning they were sitting across from me at breakfast. Now they're gone. You have to talk about it, Claire. Keeping your emotions inside can be dangerous. I know that I have to keep in control. But when I look at my sister, I get scared. There's no one to look after Amanda now, but me. Sometimes she wakes up screaming. In her nightmares, she walks down the hall to my room, and I'm dead. If you're feeling okay now, I think we should go to the funeral. But if you wanted to be alone, I could take Amanda with me and meet you there later. Okay. Hey, Jake, me and Amanda will see you at the funeral later. Yeah, I'll see you there. I just want to talk to Claire for a bit. Uncle Jake, what are you doing here? No, Uncle Jake, not now. I think you've been doing too much of that stuff lately, Claire. Whatever. Claire, what are you doing here? I didn't know you were coming over. We need to talk about something. Wait. Claire, before, before you say anything, I think there's something you should know. You've changed in the last few months, and... And I think it would be better for both of us if we didn't see each other anymore. I can't believe you! You're such a bastard! I'm pregnant, Steve! What are we going to do about that? Pregnant? What do you mean, we? I I'm not the one who's pregnant. You selfish asshole. Well, at least you're going to pay for the abortion. Who's pregnant? Kimmy? What are you doing here? Oh, Claire, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. 